This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Illinois. According to research in the journal Psychology and Aging, video games may improve cognitive function in the elderly. In a study of 40 older adults, researchers found that those assigned to play a strategy-based video game for nearly 24 hours, spread out over the course of four to five weeks, showed improved performance in task squishing, working memory, visual short-term memory and reasoning, compared to those who did not play video games. From Maryland, a panel of FDA advisors has concluded that two types of long-acting beta-2 agonist inhalers carry too high a risk for asthma-related complications. The drugs Cerevent and Foradil, when used without a corticosteroid, were found to have unacceptably high risks among all age groups. While some on the advisory panel disagreed with the ruling concerning adults, the decision was unanimous in regards to children. And finally, from Washington, the FDA has moved quickly to counter reports that they have approved a handgun as a medical device. Temporary designation of a medical device was given to Palm Pistol, a single-shot 9mm handgun designed for use by those disabled with conditions such as arthritis after the company registered their product with the FDA online. An FDA spokesperson has stated that firearms do not qualify as daily assist devices. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.